The American Music Awards bring out the pop stars, boy bands, and glee cast for a huge musical night. I'm Carly, and this is your Pop Sugar Rush. It was a parade of pop stars on the American Music Awards red carpet in LA Sunday. Red-haired Rihanna raced down the line just in time to open the show, while good friend Katy Perry chatted with reporters before her explosive number. A pregnant Pink got the party started on her way in ahead of her time on stage, while fellow performer Miley Cyrus had to have some help with her extravagantly long train. Gavin Rossdale told us No Doubt's new material is amazing. He and Usher represented for the guys, but it was all about Justin Bieber, who won Artist of the Year, and the boy bands. We're very excited. No, we're excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. The new kids on the block and Backstreet Boys teamed up to close the show, kicking off a party-filled night all to celebrate music. We were at Rolling Stone's Rockin' After Party. It's hard to imagine a more fitting location for one of the night's biggest after parties than here at the new Rolling Stone restaurant and lounge in the heart of Hollywood. Katie came arm in arm with hubby Russell Brand. Kesha arrived in another crazy getup alongside a ton of other singing stars. They may not have been nominated, but the Glee guys were in full force, stopping to talk about the show's most recent controversy. Dina Lohan is reportedly upset that Gwyneth Paltrow's character mocked Lindsay on last week's episode. That wasn't her. I mean, that's just the writing. I mean, that's kind of like the go-to joke. I mean, God love him, but even when Michael Jackson was alive, everybody always has the go-to make fun of joke. So if Lindsay's that person, God love her, but hey, that's that's just the way our media works. So and I got I got no beef for Lindsay. I, I didn't hear about that she had some problems with that, but I think I think every episode we're gonna attack Dina Lohan. Matthew Morrison joked that more Lohan family jabs are on their way, while Glee's newest star Darren Chris says there's truly no hard feelings. He then turned to less controversial topics like the new Harry Potter movie and gave us his review. It was intense. I, lo I loved a lot of the action sequences and, uh, you know, it's interesting to see how those kids have grown up. Yeah, there's a lot of racy stuff in there that I was really surprised by.